What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Spring has finally sprung. I am so excited. The weather is finally getting warmer here in Montreal. There's still snow outside, but the sun is hot and the snow is melting and I'm really, really excited about it. So finally, I feel appropriate enough to film this vlog. So finally, I feel good enough to film this video for you guys. It has been requested for so long and I've been putting it off because I'm like, I'm so not in the spring vibe because of the freezing cold weather, but it's getting warm. Also, I'd like to say please ignore my eyebrows right now. Your girl's getting them threaded next week, so yeah. So without further ado, I'm just gonna hop right into the video because my intros are always like forever. The first place I went to obviously was Brandy. You guys know I love Brandy. I just want to point out really quickly that yes, I'm in my closet room right now because it's sunny outside for once and there's like sun patches everywhere in my house. This is the only place I could find. Brandy. Got some goodies. There's a lot of stuff in here so I'm gonna go through it real quick. Some spring, some transitioning from winter to spring, some more summary pieces and yeah. I got a ton of questions about this sweater on my vlog channel and this is from Brandy. It's really awesome. I don't know what it is about like car racing this year but that's like totally on trend right now. I see like all these vintage race car jackets that people are wearing. Like this shirt that I got from Bamba Swim is about race cars and like everything is about like race cars so. But I really like the color of this so that's why I got this. It's really comfy. Now onto the more springy items. Well, maybe not not so much Montreal spring, but like spring everywhere else in the world. So tube tops have been in for a while now, but I have been seeing them like crazy lately. And this one is so cute. I love the color of it. The only downside to these is because I have broader shoulders and like I'm more broad around like where the bra strap goes, it doesn't stay up properly. My friends that are more narrow, this stays up on them so well. And maybe it's because I don't wear a bra. Maybe I should wear a bra because then it would stay above the bra. But I usually just like wear this without a bra because I think it's cute. And I like that look but I really like this color a lot and I cannot wait to wear this when I have a tan because yeah that's like not a thing right now even though I self tanned it like did not show at all but then this crop top is so cute I'm thinking of bringing this to LA because I am leaving for Coachella very soon and I know a lot of you guys have asked me to come out with a Coachella haul maybe I'll do something like that you guys let me know or like not even Coachella just like festival haul things that I am like loving for festival season this year let me know but this is really cute I love it ties in the front cuter if you have smaller boobs because it's like less revealing but I still say if you got boobs rock it doesn't really matter I'm all for that I don't have the smallest boobs and I still wear tops like this and I don't really care like if you're gonna judge me for that then like that's on you because like it doesn't bother me when I see that and then this is black so not very spring color theme but the top is really cute it's buttoned all the way down and I thought this would be so nice with high-waisted jeans that are like very light washed and the 90s fit jeans they're like straight straight leg. I actually ordered a pair online, but they're probably only going to get here in a week, so <laughs> because Canada. But I thought it would be so cute, so maybe I'll do like a spring lookbook and show you exactly what I'm talking about. It's like high-waisted, straight legs, Doc Martens, this and chokers, which by the way, I'm wearing two of my chokers from Lumen Cattle if you guys are interested in getting them. I'll have a link listed down below. These are the necklaces that I designed. They come in silver, gold and rose gold. I'm wearing the rose gold ones today and I get questions about them all the time and I always forget to tell you about them, but I'll have them linked down below and I'm probably gonna be doing a giveaway soon so stay tuned for that another crop top this one is really cool again it's going around along the whole trend of the race car thing so it has like stripes on the side which reminds me of Adidas but I really like this I think I'm gonna wear this too um, in LA another one this one is red and white so this is actually really similar to the top I'm wearing now like color wise but red and white is everywhere right now so I really like this a lot and it goes well with this type of denim I'm not saying sizes because Brandy's one size, but the, I forgot to say the price of the other tops, but this one says $22 Canadian, which is 18 USD. Then I saw this top in the store and I absolutely loved it. The only thing is, I don't think I love it on me, so I might return it. If you guys have like a smaller frame, like smaller shoulders, I think it would look so cute. How nice is this? I love stripes. I love navy. I love white. And there's like a black stripe in there too. It's really, really cute. It's a very stretchy material, but I feel like it's very like stretched 
on my arms, but I'll see. I'm like thinking about it right now. But so far, like I love the top on its own, just not sure how I feel about it on me. This is another option I'm bringing for LA because I just love really, really crop tops with super high-waisted jeans and um, like some kind of jacket thrown over. So this, it looks like white on camera, but it's actually really, really pale pink or like a pale peachy pink. It has in the back this like stretchy part and this actually reminds me of like shirts that I used to wear when I was a kid. Then I got three things from Windsor. The first one being this top that I wore in an Instagram post right here. And so many of you guys asked me where the top was from, even though I like tagged it in the picture and in the caption. Always make sure to read my caption, guys, because I most of the time talk about like a statement piece in my picture of like what I'm wearing. But it's from Windsor. I love the colors. It's long sleeves. It's a little cropped, but it's very, very thin. So it's very breathable. I don't feel hot when I wear it. And I think it's a very good transition top if it's not too warm where you live and it's kind of transitioning from winter. This is perfect. Then this top, I was trying to take a picture in it for so long and it was just freezing cold. So I was like, I'm just going to give up and wear this like when I go to LA or something. But I love it. Look at this. How cute. So it definitely has a lot of cleavage going on, especially for me. But I love the way it looks. And I think this is so cute for layering. And I love the colors. I don't know the sizes for those two because I've worn them. So I don't have the tag on it. But this is a size small and it's $24.90 US dollars. So it looks like this. It's like a Bondo top. I say Bondo because I'm French. I know a lot of you guys say I'm saying it wrong, but it's actually a French word. And you say Bondo in French. But how the heck do I show this? I mean, you'll see it in the try on, but it's basically like, it looks like a ribbon right now. So you'll just see it in the try on. It's really cute. It's super cropped and I'm going to wear it with high-waisted jeans and like a jacket to throw over it. And I love the pattern on it. Then the next place I got some stuff is Princess Polly. You guys know I am the biggest fan of Princess Polly. I do have a promo code for you guys if you want 20% off of Princess Polly. So I'll have that listed in the description. I don't remember what it is, but it'll be there. I always get DMs from you guys on Instagram asking if I have promo codes and I always forget to like mention them because I just put them in my description, but there is one for Princess Paul if you guys are curious. And as for customs and stuff, I typically don't pay customs, but like it's a hit or miss and you never really know if you're gonna get customs or not. Depends where you live, depends how much you're ordering, what you're ordering. Like there's so many things. If you're from Canada, then like I really, I don't know. But the first top is my absolute favorite. How cute is this? It's cropped, it's long sleeve, it's off the shoulder. It has like these little frills and I love the black and white stripes. It's so nice. Like picture this. I should have worn this. Anyways, whatever. It's really, really cute. High-waisted jeans, of course. This top is also really cute, but I feel like it doesn't fit my chest properly. Like, the line goes in the middle of my boobs, so I don't know how I feel about it. But, oh, and the other top doesn't have a tag because I've worn it. This one has a tag. It is... Yeah, okay, so this is what's confusing. I got a size 12 Australian, which is normally, like, a size large, just because I never know how these tops are going to fit. And it still doesn't fit my boobs. Like, I swear this is made for girls with, like, tiny, tiny boobs. But it's still so cute. So I'm gonna find a way to make it work because like when it's on and it fits properly It's so nice But as soon as I move like the, the seam goes to the middle of my boobs But like I don't really care because it's such a cute top It's so comfortable too. like the material is really nice and there's no price tag on this then this top I've worn as well I think actually this is my favorite top scratch what I said before look how cute This is so 90s like this is something I would have seen like Sabrina the teenage witch wearing and I would have been obsessed with it Or like one of the girls on charmed. I was obsessed with those shows when I was young. I love so it's a really cute pink color. It has skinny spaghetti straps. It's a crop. Um, I don't know the size or the price, but it's, oh, size medium. It's really cute. I probably could have gone with a size small because it's a little on the loose side, but I never know with tops because, you know, I got a size large before and my boobs didn't fit, so <laughs> it's a hit or miss. Okay, this top is going to be really hard to show on camera, so you guys... You're gonna see it on the try on, but it's basically <laughs> this is the material and it wraps around your body off the shoulders. It has these poofy sleeves and then it ties in the front. This looks so confusing, but it's so cute on. And I'm going somewhere in May and I'm definitely gonna be bringing this because it suits the vibe perfectly. Um, I'm not gonna say where I'm going yet, but hint, hint, it's for my bachelorette. <laughs> We are traveling somewhere really fun with my um, wedding party. Then I got these shorts, which are gonna be kind of confusing to show because there's like the string that ties around, but basically this is just like a belt. So ignore this for right now. You'll see it on the try on. And this is a size 10. There's no price tag on it, but they're high-waisted shorts that are like material. And I thought this would just be good, even with a pink top that I just showed you, something really easy to kind of throw on that are lightweight, that aren't jean, but switch up the look a little bit. I got this in a white color and a like army green 
green. Then I got these pads from IMGA, which are crazy, but they're from Princess Polly, but they're by the brand IMGA. They have this like, these are funky. Like, I don't even know how I'm gonna wear these. They're a size, oh, there's no size on it. Think I got a medium? Oh no, I got a size small. They're high-waisted, they're checkered, they go in at the ankles. They're super funky and out there, but I'm gonna see if I can rock them. And if I can't, then whatever, but I thought they were cute. Then I got this hat. Princess Polly has the best hats. Look how cute this is. I think this is by Brixton, yeah, size small. They have sizes, guys, so if you're curious about that, I'm a size small, I'm a very small head. Extra small is too small, but if you think you have a smaller head than I do, get an extra small. Then this just reminds me of my childhood, like these colors, this is still something like my mom would have worn in the 90s. I really like it. Um, Size medium, no price tag, high-waisted black jeans. And then the last thing, again, no price tag, but size medium, another red top. It's a t-shirt, it's really cute, it's super red, and I love it, and it's really flimsy and really soft. As you can tell, I'm really liking the red. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, everything will be listed down below, all the links. I know Brandy sometimes doesn't have everything online, but I'm gonna find as much as I can. If you guys want me to do a haul from specific places, let me know, like specific brands, like Forever 21, ASOS, whatever. These are just the things I bought within the past like month that I've been waiting to film because the weather has just been crap. I'm excited for the videos to come. I have some really fun things planned. I love you guys so much. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have not already, subscribe down below. Don't forget I love you, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! In this abandoned amusement park, we come to life when it turns dark. We're just carnival hearts, you and me.